Hey TechComp, as I promised, I'm going to start uploading videos that walk you through certain skills and mastery skills. So in your mastery skills, I decided I'm going to start with the drawing conclusion skill because that is the one that most of you have not attempted at all yet. So I wanted to start with one maybe that could just kind of knock one out right away. So I'm going to get into the post test one. And we're just going to go from there. And so this was the information from chapter six. And so a lot of these are true false, which makes it kind of a nice video to start with. So a conclusion is an assumption. We're going to say that's false because a conclusion is an educated guess. Um, not just an assumption, not just like you're assuming. It, it is something that you have some evidence to support. So it's not just an assumption. That is false. Number two, the first step in drawing a logical conclusion is to check your comprehension. Absolutely, that's what you have to do. Make sure you know what the paragraph, the picture, the whatever it is, is about. Number three, to form conclusions, you should focus on the major and minor details to look for supporting facts. Again, yes, know the main idea, but also look at those major and minor details. Number four, you can assume that statements with absolutes such as all, none, everyone, always, and never are always true unless stated otherwise. Actually, opposite. <laughs> you should assume that they are false unless stated otherwise because you need to be wary of absolutes unless they have the proof to back it up. So number four is false. Number five, when you have made your conclusion, you should go back and check the facts to make sure they agree with your conclusion. Yeah, make sure you have support. All right, the rest of the questions are based on this particular paragraph here. Question six, before Christianity, the ancient Greeks believed in many gods, not unlike our modern superheroes, such as Superman, Spider-Man, or Captain Marvel. Ancient Greeks built temples to worship their superheroes and created stories about them. Zeus was the king of the gods, lord and the ruler of the earth. His wife was Hera, an immortal queen who used her powers to influence the other gods. Also famous was Poseidon, the god of the sea, who could create huge ocean storms, cause ships to sink, or save them. Beautiful Athena was a warrior goddess who led armies to war and brought them back to victor in victory. The ancient Greeks believed that their gods were real and lived among them. The stories about their lives were much like our modern TV dramas, full of trickery, bravery, violence, and sex. Greek mythology is filled with fascinating and dramatic stories about their gods, but the influence of these ancient gods lives on in the superheroes and stories of today. What is the topic sentence of this paragraph? So it kind of starts off talking about before Christianity, like our superheroes right now, in Greek there were gods. And so it kind of shows the impact that a long time ago, they had these gods kind of led to what we now have as superheroes. So really, it's that last sentence. The influence of these ancient gods lives on in the superheroes and stories of today, which is our last option there. Okay, question seven. Modern Greeks today still worship the ancient gods and goddesses? Um, that's really not, that's not something we can conclude. It doesn't say anything about them still doing that today. Uh, we still learn about them, but that doesn't mean that they still worship them. Number eight, Greek mythology has influenced many modern stories of superheroes. Yeah, that was part of our main idea. True. Number nine, in some ways, the ancient Greeks were much like modern people. Uh, it said that right in there. It said they, they walked around with them. So, True, they thought they were right there with them. And number 10, the ancient gods and goddesses had both human qualities and supernatural powers. Again, true. There we go. So that is drawing conclusions post-test number one. Make sure you save and submit that. Replay the video as needed to make sure that you have all the questions. All right, I will work on getting another one uploaded probably within the next couple days. Talk to you soon.